uh, MDF. This it's is just MDF. It's just pressed wood, ladies and gentlemen. It's uh, pressed wood, and I turn it into a uh, like a stone finish. You can see, look at like a marble. Wow. It, it lasts. This is gonna last for a long, long time because uh, it's hard material that we apply here. So that's one of the uh, nice samples. Now, uh, and can you tell us what happened when you go to, you know, we had a lot of situations, we had a few of them where you went out to see a gate that was painted incorrectly, even though it was a new gate, only a few months old, and what, what do you usually find that happened when the work is not done correctly when it comes to the paint? Well, sometimes there's a problem that you don't uh, communicate well with the uh, painter or the uh, wood finisher. Uh, because uh, sometimes they say, well, I have a lot of years, many years experience in painting, but once they start doing the, the, the work right there, there are confusing uh, materials. Sometimes they don't even know what kind of material they use. You know? So I recommend to use the right material for that different type of wood, you know? And also, uh, you gotta be good on, like I said before, detailed on Oh, I mean, oriented on details. That way you can um, finish a good... Very detailed, like what happened when, you know, we paint the gate, but all of a sudden we see a little crack on the gate, where well, most people are just gonna paint over it and done with, what are we doing usually? Well, sometimes, you know, it depends on the wood too, you know, if it's fine, they crack right away, it's so soft, that wood. But if you use uh, redwood or oak, you know, it's just hard wood. So it lasts longer. E even uh, cedar is, is a good wood too for exterior. Uh, but all depends on how you uh, apply the material, right? So I recommend, like I told you before, to use a good material and, and, and hire the right person. Beautiful, beautiful. So Tito, when we are uh, doing a gate and uh, we're bringing the gate on site unfinished, um, and we're sending you to the client. What will be the process? How you guys going to decide what paint you're going to apply for them? And how is it going to happen? Can you tell us? Well, I recommend, first of all, if you install uh, a new door, the wood is, is raw wood right there. Well, the first step is to apply uh, a sealer coat to uh, protect from the, the weather. And then after that, you let it dry for about 24 hours, and then you can sand it over, and then you can start staining any color you want. After that, you apply a sanding sealer, and then you can use a marine varnish for exterior, which is it's really good material, it lasts longer, and uh, it's one of the expensive uh, materials that I, I use for more, many years and that protect the exterior wood. If you want to use lacquers or water base, I, I recommend to use it in the interior, uh, not in exterior because it, it, it faded up right away, you know, the, like a water, it, it turns milky, and the lacquer finish, it faded right away. So I not really recommend it. Nobody can recommend to use that. So how are we working with our clients? When the gate is done, installed, and now it needs paint, can we show them, you know, a few different samples or paint for them, some of the wood, so they can see what grain they like better or what kind of stain they like better. How can we do that for that's them? That's a good question. You know, that's the, the first step, you know. The right way is to show a sample to the customer and then uh, ask how they think about it, the color, you know. If they're happy with the color, then you can start applying on that project. But uh, if you're not sure, you better don't touch it because you don't want to make mistakes. So it's a very important the communication, you know, between the painter and the customer. Uh, that way, everything can run smooth, you know. Okay. So what can we wish for the clients and you to have? Well, after all, you know, it's fun. You know, if if you do the right thing, you're gonna have fun. You know, you're not gonna have any problem at all. So. Like I told you before, you know, communicate with the customer and everybody's going to be happy. Woo! We like that. Thank you very much, Tito. Have a great one and see you on the job site. Let's have fun.
I'll see you soon.